So now we're nearing the end and we are getting to cranial nerve number 11, which is the accessory nerve, also called the spinal accessory nerve. And this nerve actually only innervates two muscles and that's it. It is purely motor, it supplies two muscles and the two muscles are going to be the sternocleidomastoid, let me click on the button here, and the trapezius. The spinal accessory nerve will exit the skull through the jugular foramen together with two other nerves you might recall with the glossopharyngeal and the vagus nerves. If we look at where the accessory nerve actually comes from, it arises as a series of rootlets from the spinal cord segments C1 to C5, and the axons of these nerves will leave the spinal cord and join together as they ascend into the skull. To do this, these joined fibers have to pass through the foramen magnum, so the big hole of the skull, so that then after they have ascended through the foramen magnum, they can then exit through the jugular foramen. So, technically, we're talking about a cranial nerve that is made up of several spinal nerve components. Traditionally, the cranial root of the accessory nerve, however, is actually a part of the vagus nerve. And if we look underneath here, we can see that the innervation for the sternocleidomastoid comes from its deep surface and then continues on, that is this fiber here, that goes to the trapezius. So purely motor to these two muscles. Do not confuse any of the fibers that are going across the sternocleidomastoid here uh, for parts of the accessory nerve, because they're not. This is, for instance, the great auricular nerve. This is a sensory nerve, okay? You have there a sensory nerve. Again, this is probably the yep, transverse cervical nerve. And then you should have the lesser occipital nerve probably right about here. There, the lesser occipital nerve. So if you want to find this in lab, my recommendation is after you dissect away the skin, of course, you would cut the sternal and the clavicular attachments of the sternocleidomastoid, and then you can retract it, pull it superolaterally until you then discover on its underside where the accessory nerve dives into it. It's not that hard. <laughs>